I wanna go outside. I wanna go outside. I wanna go outside. Didn't wait no. Oh my god! Didn't have an intro now. Got one. It's your boy T J London, and I'm back with another video for the Afro Scene Gang. We lit in the sea, they watching us. Oh, when we're lost in the zone, ain't no stopping us. No, yo, I'm chasing the bag, and I swear I can't stop you now. They tell me I'm bait and I'm popular. I got the cash, but it's not enough. I'm taking over, I'm the officer. Steady topping up, yeah. Hey, what's good, guys? So, I have not done a QA in a long time. I don't remember the last time I've done a QA. It's probably been over a year now. And that's mainly because each time I've wanted to do a QA, you lot would take forever to send assumptions or so, or I'd just say, oh, sending questions on Snapchat or Instagram, and people wouldn't send in any questions. But now things have changed. Because obviously, like, over time we've grown. We started to get more subscribers, more supporters, and I appreciate you lot for that. So, obviously, because of that, more people start to interact with me more. So, I do appreciate you lot for connecting with me quickly because I literally just sent this like three hours ago, asking you lot to um, send me questions, and I did not expect you lot to send me questions so quickly. So, now once I finish this video, I have to delete all this posts and all that before people continue to send me questions. So, you lot have sent me questions on Instagram. Well, well, I told you to mainly send me questions on Instagram. So I'm going to be answering them right now. So let's not waste any time. Let's just get into this. Please subscribe. Please. Please. So the first question is, how did you think your life became after YouTube? I started YouTube in late 2018. And 2018, like, I was just like finding my feet again. Obviously, I went through all negativity in 2017, and I was just like, I, I recently moved schools as well, so I was in a new school as well, so it was okay. Like, life after YouTube, though, like, I feel like I noticed that more people seem to respect me more, especially because of the fact that they see that I'm monetized now, and they see that I'm earning my own money, and I'm providing for myself, and and I can you know do my own stuff now you know and it's like people start to respect me more and I find that like quite weird because I always think of it like imagine if I wasn't doing YouTube would people still respect me the same way would people still be bullying me this that and the third and you know I, I was still getting bullied whilst I was doing YouTube you know like you don't get me wrong but honestly like life is still good you know like i'm still enjoying myself as I, I can still study like i can still do my school work like i'm not doing youtube full time so it, it, it's good so like life is life is good do you think draw is the main reason for violence and gangs absolutely not but here's what i have to say to this like draw music i understand like some of the lyrics you just think and you just like oh did you really just say that I will always think of it like this. If people want change, if people want, you know, there to be a better world, if people want equality, it all starts with the person themselves, you know? It's not the songs that lead people to go out and go do this and that to someone else, you know? Like, it's all down to that one person. Like, Michael Jackson literally said it in the song Man in the Mirror. I don't think you lot, like, understand. Like, listen to that song. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. That, that's, that's all I have to say to that. Do you prefer African or Caribbean girls and say your reason for the one that you choose, please? Honestly, like, I'm just going to say this right now. I do not have a problem with culture. I don't have a problem with colour. Like, I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're black. Like, I, I would date any race. But when I think of it in the long run, because... Obviously, I'm Christian. I believe in like marriage and stuff like that. And you know, a lot of cultures they have their own religions. So, personally, for me, like I would go with my own background, which is Caribbean, but probably a Jamaican person because like having to like merge with another culture, like sometimes that is quite, you know, it's a bit long. And then you know, meeting the parents and stuff like that. Like I'd rather like mix with someone like back home you know the parents get along and plus you have to be a christian if i'm gonna marry you anyway or even date you like i 
I'm not about like that life that I used to live two or three years ago where I would just date anyone for the fun of it like not like that but personally I'll just go with Caribbean girls how tall are you be honest please because some guys lie about their height <laughs> I'm not six foot I'm nowhere near six foot I'm, I'm not gonna say that I'm short but compared to like a lot of people I do look short but I'm not sure I'm about I'm a, I'm probably between five seven or five eight. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm not a tall person, guys. I'm not short, though. I'm, I'm like the average height. You miss your childhood, of course, man. Like, look at the world now. Like, who wants to be here? Like, who wants to live in this world where all of this rubbish is going on and people dislike each other just because they're different colors? Like, <laughs> it's stupid. But I definitely enjoy my childhood. When's your birthday? My birthday is actually the twenty third of December. Like, some of you. Some of you think it's the 24th, when it's actually the 23rd. It's not Christmas Day, it's not the 22nd, it's the 23rd. But um, if you lot didn't say happy birthday to me, it's all right. Like, there's always next year, man. Okay. I appreciate everyone who said happy birthday, though. Even though I couldn't do anything for my 17th, it was all, it was all right. I was with my family, so. How are you trying to leave lockdown as in improvements and stuff? Oh, so like, in terms of me coming out of lockdown, achieving so oh, okay personally like i just hope that i can well right now i'm in the process of like learning how to like still do my hair so i'm obviously trying to like get better at that and i, I don't know probably learn how to like cook some more things because over the last lockdown last year in march like i did learn how to cook certain things as well so and also like I, d I don't know. I might start dancing again. I have been, like, you know, practicing a bit, but, like, I'm, I might get back into dancing again. I don't know. Boy, if you don't get... When did you become so religious? If you lot don't know, like, I, I literally dropped a video on that, um, well, a few hours ago, but to you lot, it's my last video. Um, basically, check that out, but it was probably 2017. It was... Like, I th it was 2017, yeah, it was 2017. But I'm not gonna get too much into that um, because I literally just spoke about it in my last video, which I just recorded a few hours ago. Not even a few hours ago, like an hour ago. <laughs> I I've been so busy. What part of London are you from? I'm not gonna say where I'm from in London, but I'm just gonna tell you that I live in North London. How long do you wanna do YouTube for? Yeah, I've never really spoken about this on a video. Those of you lot that come in the live streams, you already know what my plans are. But I'm just gonna say it on here now for you lot that don't really be watching the live stream. Originally, I just want to like do YouTube as a side hustle, you know, just a side job. Like I, I know I'm monetizing and I'm getting like money from it, but like I just want it to be a side thing because I've never like seen myself as like a YouTuber that's full time, you know? Because obviously I don't have the appropriate views for me to be doing YouTube full time. So it's obviously gonna have to be like a side also, but I've always said to myself, if that's if YouTube were, was to ever take off for me, and I just started getting so much views in my videos, like hundred k, fifty k, stuff like that. Like if I ever, if I ever took off like that, then I would do YouTube full time. But that is not looking likely at the moment. So I just have to stick to doing YouTube as a side hustle. But in terms of me doing YouTube forever, I, I don't know, like, I'd probably stop when I reach my mid 50s, not, not even 50s. I don't think I'd be doing YouTube in my 40s, like, he's gonna do that. <laughs> I'd probably stop, like, in my late 20s or early 30s or so. I don't think I'd be doing YouTube forever. What are you going to do as a career? Well, when I was younger, like, I, I really liked buses. I still do like buses now, but, like, I wanted to be a bus driver. Um, I still don't mind being a bus driver, but <laughs> I, I I prefer like to be a train driver, or so like driving trains. But I don't know if you can be a train driver if you have like a YouTube channel. I, I think that's if you work for TFL. I don't know if Network Crow will allow that, but I don't know. I want something along those lines, you know. Like I just want to be doing a job that I enjoy. I don't want to be doing a job just because I want to get a certain amount of money to provide for my family, you know, like. Just as long as I'm doing a job that I can enjoy and it's good for my mental health, then I'll be happy. What's your biggest motivators in your life? I, I think you meant who's my biggest motivator. Personally, 
when people say that they have idols, I've never really had an idol. You know, like I, I just. I just take life as it is, you know, like whatever comes my way, I just tackle it and just go with the flow. I don't really have anyone that motivates me. Like I have to get the motivation for myself. Like obviously I have to trust and believe in God and, you know, pray and all of that. But the motivation will come with myself because, you know, when you be doing stuff like YouTube, you get demotivated a lot and it's up to you to like be motivated again like someone shouldn't have to motivate you to start youtube again unless you watch some type of motivational video so but when you're doing a grind for yourself like you shouldn't have to rely on other people to like push you to do it so like youtube and stuff the motivation is just from within okay so i did have a few questions on my youtube community page because I, I, I didn't want to just do it on Instagram. Someone said, what are your thoughts on the suspension of summer exams, GCSEs, etc.? The government has to do what they have to do. And the virus is worse now than it was this time last year. So they have no choice. Like, they have to cancel exams, you know what I mean? But personally, like, e even though my exams were cancelled, I still managed to pass. But that wasn't the case for everyone. Like, it, some people are hoping to do better in the real GCSE exam than their mocks but obviously that didn't get to happen with some people but I don't know I, I feel like it is like kind of bad in a way for some of us because you know like it, it's it's irritating that like we're losing out on education and as much as people have their opinions on education like I feel like it is needed because you still learn some substantial stuff and especially in college like when we're not in college because in college you're picking what you want to study you know and when you're really interested in that subject and you're not getting to like spend time to study it inside college it is kind of irritating but what can you do like the virus is out of control so what type of hair do you have <laughs> um the type of hair that I have, I think it's 4B. I don't think it's 4C. I don't think my hair's 4A though. I don't know, I'm not sure. It's either 4A or 4B, but I have a strong feeling it's 4B. Because you lot see in my videos where my hair's curly, um, the curls look very loose sometimes. So I I, 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 I actually don't know, I, I don't know, man. This guy says T J L N D. Excuse me? Oh, excuse me? Yes, T J L D. Anyway, probably also for Can I use Kuzo hair cream for my 4C hair going on? Do you know what? I, I'm, I, I'm just gonna say this off it now, like, I don't know everything about hair, okay? Like, I'm not a hair guru, I don't know all of that stuff. I'm still trying to learn things for myself, okay? Like, don't be, I understand you lot see my videos and you expect me to know everything, but I actually don't, like, I'm just, I'm still a teenager, I'm still going to school, I'm still learning things every day, like, I don't know every single, aspect to what you need to use to grow your hair like literally people always ask me what do you use to grow your hair i don't use anything special like i just you i just get protective hairstyles that's all i've been doing that's all i've been saying and people still ask me but i i, I don't know i've got to deal with it because people are going to continue to watch the video but i i don't know like you have to check out videos on that if you want to know if it can help your hair grow or not but um yeah another question is how tall are you in feet or not Someone said he looked somewhere like 5'8". I didn't even have to reply to that. But at least you know. Okay. Um, also, some of you are broken. He asked specifically to not just ask him about... <laughs> oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I don't even have to complain no more, man. Like, you lot already get the gist. I did have one question on TikTok. I, I just think I had one question from somebody. I'm just going to read that real quick. So this person said, if you see this, maybe you could add this on YouTube. My question is, what was your favourite World Cup? And what's your honest prediction on the one coming up? There's a World Cup coming up. They're still going ahead with it. Wow. Um, My favourite World Cup? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. But, I, oh my gosh, I can't remember. I don't know, because I, I know when I was younger, I used to pay attention to the World Cup a lot, but, like, recently, like, now I, I don't really pay attention to it, but I, I will say, even though this is nothing to do with the World Cup, the Euros 
in 2018, like, I did pay attention to that when everyone thought it was coming home. It's coming home, it's coming home, football's coming home. And it didn't come home. Like. <laughs> but yeah, I, I actually don't know which is my favourite World Cup. Anyway, we are at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. I really appreciate it. Because you lot sent in questions so quickly, like, and def I'm definitely gonna have to continue with the reacting to my subscribers' hair series because I know a lot of you want me to do that. And I don't know if I would do a rating subscribers part five because I did swap up part four for a reason. But if you lot really want me to do part five, comment. Actually, no, get this to um, get this to 100 likes. <laughs> I know that won't happen, that's why I said that, but <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, um, hope you lot enjoyed. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the African gang today. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, make sure to subscribe to my second channel link in the description. Let's get to 200 subscribers down there. I'm going to be posting more in there, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, hope you lot stay safe. I know times are tough right now, but have faith, trust, and believe. But right now, you lot stay safe.